Hi, my name is Jamie Mitchell and I work for a virtual school. Um, this year I taught physical education middle school. I've taught elementary art in the past and I'm also a K through five advisor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over the questions for this assignment for workshop one. Um, the first question reads, how do I see myself incorporating additional multimedia integrated learning experiences and why? Um, Basically, um, I was really in, really inspired after viewing some of the video clips that were in our uh, text um, and watching the teachers work along with the students as they were using technology within the classroom. Uh, it was inspiring to uh, think of different ways um, to encourage student collaboration. I think it's really important with the virtual school to try to find ways to allow the students to work together. Um, time is an issue um, because students are not with you as often as they are maybe in the brick and mortar. Um, so it's important to think of different ways. And uh, one of the ways I thought of is um, allowing my students to collaborate in their breakout rooms. We use Blackboard Collaborate as our as our source of communication for sessions. Um, I'd like to try to integrate more offline work with creative activities that students can create and then come back to the um, Blackboard Collaborate classrooms and share during their sessions. Um, and I'd like to inspire my students, um, encourage inquiry while they're applying what they've learned. I think it's important to have them you know, take ownership and, and to really get excited about what they can do with, with the knowledge that they've gained. Um, the next question is, how do I plan to ensure I'm meeting the technological standards in my classroom? <clears throat> Um, I plan to make sure to follow the standards, ISTE standards um, that are set in place um, and also make sure my lesson plans are valid to, with the learning environment. Um, I'd like to develop rubrics, of it, which I've already done this in the past, and checklists to assist me um, and make sure that I'm on track with what um, needs to be accomplished with the objectives. Um, I plan to continue to research in new, new exciting ways and to model after other educators um, and how they incorporate technology within their classroom. I think that's important to feed off of each other as um, educators. Um, it's my responsibility as an educator to keep current with the state and national standards and requirements as they continually change and evolve along with the ever-changing forms of technology because it's always changing so that's important to stay current. Um, what are some of my personal goals to increase my technological proficiency as an educator? Um, next slide. Um, I think it's important to make sure to stay fresh. Um, it's easy to get stuck in a rut and become comfortable with the lessons that are familiar and already available or already created. Um, so making sure to stay fresh as an educated educator and staying aware of the most current trends in technology is important. Um, <clears throat> I owe it to my, to my students to make sure I'm aware of the most current apps and gadgets and to find ways to incorporate their use in the classroom. Um, taking courses that are offered through my employer, which I'm very lucky that they offer those, um, to help me develop my technological proficiencies in the classroom. And I also plan to speak with my colleagues, colleagues and also my class my students um, in my classroom um, to learn about new trends in technology, become more experienced. I think it's important to use your students as resources because they usually know the most up and coming trends and they will let you know what they're interested in. So that's really important because you want them to enjoy what they're doing um, as they're learning. The next question is how do I plan to accomplish my goals? Um, I hope to achieve these goals by attending or facil facilitating more professional development classes. We have the opportunity to, to facilitate professional development um, sessions within my company, and I haven't been able to take the opportunity to do that. Um, I really want to try to set a time uh, aside some time to try to teach some of those sessions um, and get involved with that community. Um, my goal is to, act, to stay active in research and exploring new and innovative developments that come along. Um, online lectures and periodicals will help me achieve this goal. Also, taking time to, to sit down and just research online is important. Um, and during my planning season, which most of it's going to be this summer, I want to map out new lessons and create schedule for lesson completion dates. So that's very important to me. Um, making a schedule is, is going to be the biggest thing that's going to be a motivator for me. Um, and so how will I monitor my progress? Um, <clears throat> I plan to uh, set up weekly appointment on my calendar or my schedule, reminding me to take the time to explore new, new ideas and avenues, um, forcing myself to take that time for myself, 
to um, to do those explorations is, is something that I plan to do. Um, and once again, my company offers those um, trainings that I'm going to try to um, complete this summer. And my goal is to take advantage of the self-paced trainings um, and finding time in, is the biggest issue with me. Time is, is, is an issue, um, like I said, in my family. Um, so that's important. Um, and just keeping motivated, uh, keeping a schedule to stay motivated. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed um, hearing a little bit about what I plan to do to um, to strengthen my technology background and um, you know continue on with the ever changing world. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. So thank you so much. And um, here are the list of my references for my images. And um, thank you so much. Have a great day.